Anybody know what kind of vegetable this is? Eddie, do you know? It's like from the carrot family, maybe, because it goes underground. Do you have a guess? A turnip. And that's what our play is going to be about. So we're going to let you know the title of our play. Are we ready to turn our page? Ready, set, read. The Enormous Turnip. Very long time ago, a little old man and a little old woman planted some turnip seeds. It didn't take long for the turnip to sprout. And it wasn't long before the whole garden looked like a sea of turnips. One day, the little old man and the little old woman out from the cotton field. They saw the strangest thing. Can you do what I do? Said the little old man to the little old woman. The little, little old, old woman little indeed old saw what the little old man, man saw. It is an enormous turnip. There are among all the turnips bursting out above all the other turnips. It was the biggest turnip the little old man and the little old woman had ever seen. The turnip kept growing and growing. It grew bigger. And, and bigger. bigger. And bigger. It was enormous. One day, the little old man said to the little old woman, That enormous turnip would make a mighty fine turnip. And off he went to the garden to pull up the enormous turnip with the bow and the top. They continued to build a place and the clock. The turnip was stuck. The little old man called out to the little old woman. Help, help, the turnip is stuck. The, the little old woman from behind the little old man and clapped her arms around the little old man's round belly and with the pole and the tub. In the field they dug. The turnip was stuck. A little old woman called out to a little boy. Help, help, the turnip is stuck. The little, little boy called out to the little old woman. The little old woman called out to the little old man. With a pole and a tub. In the field they dug. With a switch and a clock. The turnip was stuck. The little boy called out to a little girl. Help, help, the turnip is stuck. Hello. 
Gray House was so pink and proud to be asked for help. She hopped out her chest. The little boy with a cat tail between her eyes and fall. The spiky cat held on to the spider dog. The spider dog held on to the little girl. The little girl held on to a little boy. The little boy held on to a little old woman. And the little old woman held on to the little old man. With a pole and a tub, with a click and a cluck, the little gray mouse brought them luck. Sure enough, the turner came out so suddenly that they all fell over backwards. Well, the enormous turner came out. Quickly, they helped each other up and dust off the dirt. They scrubbed the enormous turnip, chopped it up, put it into an enormous pot, and cooked an enormous soup. <laughs> the end. boys and girls for I think we can give them applause for being such a good audience. What do you think? <laughs> we appreciate your good attention. Okay, um, I want to introduce the players and the performers in our play and tell you what class they're from. We have Ivana and she's from Mrs. Strasser's class and we have Haley who's from Mrs. Michael's class and we have Eddie and he's from Mrs. Roberto's class and you have your friend Jack, and we have Mohammed, and he's from Mrs. Strasser's class, and your friend Mia. So we can give them a round of applause. And boys and girls in Mrs. Heinrich's class, who thinks this play that the, these boys and girls did remind you of a story that Mrs. Heinrich shared with you? If you know, tell me, anybody. Carrot. Enormous carrot. And who was the character at the end of the enormous carrot that was so strong that it helped all the other characters pull the carrot out? If you know, say it. The mouse. The mouse. And what about in our enormous turnip play? Who was the character who helped at the end? The mouse. The gray mouse.